A one, two, three, four. So I wanted to do this project for maybe apartment living, just tiny houses or um, when you don't have a lot of room in your house to put big uh, planters. Uh, this is kind of like a whimsical, really cute theme that I uh, wanted to do. And this is also a project that you can do from um, your garage sale finds because I found this cute little bunny head um, from a garage sale and it is actually uh, something that you can hang on the on the wall but I didn't want to do that because when it's hanging on the wall just imagine it hanging like this you know so how can you see the the cute little bunny so I figured this um dollar <laughs> dollar store vase um and to use the dollar store vase and put a succulent there um inside like a terrarium so um i figured this is going to be so cute to do that so i found this um ring that also from the dollar store and it came from this Long story short, this is the candy dish that um, it came, um, the ring came in. The, so the ring came in here and I just removed it and transferred it over to the bunny. So the bunny head can stay on nice and snug. Nice and snug. <laughs> nice and snug. There we go. So it's not cute. And then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a terrarium out of this. And I have some rocks here. I have these green rocks. I have some, some white sand right here. And also some aqua, aqua rocks. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some rocks in here. The, I, I want to do the teal first or aqua give it a little generous layer there kind of even it out and then I'm going to put some of this um moisture absorber uh, um, it attracts and traps moisture and this I bought this from um, Home Depot you can get the the charcoal the black charcoal but I like this one because it's white and it looks like it looks like rocks too so I'm just going to Pour a little bit in there and it has some yellow into it too so that's going to add some a little bit of interest element it smells so good I think they use this for I don't know what they use it for plants wait I don't know what they use it for but regardless um that will absorb any moisture or excess dampness um, from the plants or the watering of the plants okay then I'm going to follow it up with white sand or no let me try the let me try this rocks first the green rocks and I'm gonna be generous about it because it's really really cute and 
this <laughs> I'm so glad this vase the mouth of this vase is pretty big around because I can stick my hand in there um, I was already uh, foreseeing that my hand will not fit in this vase so I won't so I brought in some chopsticks to help me plant the plant in there another layer of the blue which I'm gonna do just use up the whole thing it's so cute oh my goodness this is so cute okay I don't know if I want to put sand in there because I think that alone like this is already cute as it is mm, maybe I won't put any more sand yeah I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna do the Echeveria and this look how beautiful it is it kind of it's like a light blue but green but little pink so it's really cute and then I have this jade plant that I want to plant next to it and some of this sedum um, just around it and you'll see what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna get some of my dirt all of the all of the link is going to be um, on the description plus the scooper my handy dandy scooper right here now when you have a terrarium like this you don't need to water it every week because it doesn't have drainage number one number two it is going to be enclosed which means that the bunny head cover is going to create like a, a greenhouse effect there so your the the moisture is just going to recycle back and forth into the plant so I'm gonna add some more Oops, I think that's too much. Is that too much? It might be too much. I'm gonna move some. Because you can't, it can't be too high up here because then you won't be able to see the plant or plants. And there, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to center this in the center, but a little bit towards the front. So I have enough room for my other plant. So it's going to be kind of a front here. I'm going to dig through. Kind of gather up. This is what I love about this. I can switch, um, turn it over and then just use it as a, a pounding um, tool. And don't worry about if you get soil around the plant because you can just take your brush and brush it off. 
Now this plant right here is going to get bigger. So you probably have maybe three or four months um, for this to survive in this condition. So, and I have my handy dandy tweezer here. And what I do is I take this, actually I'm going to cut this a little bit, it's too long. And I just gather it up like this. And take my tweezer. See, this is going to be challenging because this one... This one stem is kind of curved, so boop, 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 like this, just holding it like this, and then I'm gonna take my chopstick just make a hole there and try to get that in I'm gonna take I also take the tweezers down let me pause this for a second because you can't see with my arm there and I figured it out after I was done filming this that um, you could not see what I was doing so I'm going to show you in another clip how it's done this is just an intermission so here's the premise of that procedure so pretend i have this plant right here so so i'm going to squeeze the bottom of the plant not squeeze hard but look, all right, we're just putting enough pressure so that we're able to hold the plant. Okay, able to hold the plant like this. Then you're going to plunge it into into the soil like this, and then you're gonna let it go, and that's how it's done. And We'll do it one more time and take the plant. Okay, so again, we're going to take this. And we're just going to work it into the soil. And there it is. To just guide that in there and then tap it stamp it tamp it down oh so pretty already let me see look at that how cute is that oh my goodness I have to show you and then um this one too i'm gonna put it on the other side like right here where there's a little bit space don't um water this until i would give it a couple of days or maybe four days or maybe three days the soil is it's got some moisture in it and if you want to just clean up the the mess around the pretty is that oh my goodness how pretty is that look how pretty oh my goodness that is so cute yes I love it 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 now for the finale I'm going to wait, wait. 
want to show you the right way. Hold on. I added a little embellishment around the neck just to finish it off and to hide that ring from uh, being visible and it turned out so cute. This is a like a ribbon um, sort of embellishment that I just had laying around the house so is that cute? Anyway guys thank you for watching hope you come back soon I'm gonna have a lot more projects like these and um, to give you uh, some inspiration because when you're out there going to garage sales and um, looking for interesting things to add to um, any succulent uh, arrangement that you have you can always look at other things that you may not normally would put together with the succulents just like this um, guy right here he's so cute and so unique and um, I don't know if you can buy a head like this um, you could probably um, look online and see if they have anything but just really um, keep your eyes open cre keep the creativity flowing um, you know you never know what you might find at a garage well that's all I have for you today I hope you enjoyed watching me make this cute little uh, bunny terrarium and don't forget to like subscribe and comment below and tell me like what you think would be something interesting that you normally wouldn't think to put with um, succulents that you might have um, seen before but anyway if you haven't yet please subscribe and come back and just live in this channel why not see you later bye xoxo -X